Um, we're going to start off by showing that this charging circuit here uh, works as intended. So I'm just going to connect this up here and then as you can see this is the current controlled section of the voltage uh, or of the charging circuit so it should be charging this battery as intended. Uh, next up we're going to show that this light here turns on as soon as we turn on the, um, the bracelet. <clears throat> now we will be checking his vitals and and now we have to reboot the <laughs> microcontroller. There we go. We've got a successful connection packet there. And we can see we're getting data, which I'll be sending off to the web server here. And you can see there's an emergency because we... Bracelet's connected. Bracelet is connected. I can clear this emergency out here. And in a few seconds here, we should get our regularly scheduled, there we go, our regularly scheduled data packet. That's uh, Jack over there's pulse, there's his blood oxygen percent, and now here's his temperature. If we wait just a couple seconds more, we should get another regularly scheduled packet here. There we go. There's our second packet, regularly scheduled. Uh, if we were to remove Jack's finger from the things, you can see we'll start getting some pretty regular packets here because it sees an emergency, so it's going to start transmitting pretty much every second. And up here, I can see we're getting an emergency med meeting because obviously with no one's uh, finger on the sensor, we're not getting any pulse. Um, so obviously we get an emergency. All right, now we're going to show how fall detection works. Fall detected. There we go, fall detected. And that is it.